Hello my art school students. Really been wanting to do a video on this since uh, again I speak uh, at a lot of classrooms and um, art colleges. Very important um, that I think in schools in general they don't cover it enough. Um, but at some point after all your hard work and preparing your portfolio and pre preparing your web portfolio which is also important there's going to be a point where you have to go to a job interview and not just artists I mean a lot of people kind of fear the job interview um, and I want to say uh, even now um, I'll take a meeting for working with a brand before uh, my new business venture with Union I had job interviews set up with uh, Target to work at corporate and um, Zappos uh, in Las Vegas Nevada um, both amazing corporate companies that um, you know I would love to be a part of in, in some way or form but what I'm saying is even for those meetings which uh, involve several rounds of interviews um, with various people and heads of different departments I completely prepare for each um, each interview individually and I train almost like I practice um, I go through interview questions and just so that when it comes to the actual interview, I don't memorize, but when it comes to the actual interview, I'm very articulate uh, because I've kind of practiced the scenario in terms of, of what they might throw at you. Um, and that's really the basis that I want to talk about for this video is it's more than your portfolio. You know, um, when it comes to the interview, you're selling yourself as a person and what you can kind of bring to them. So you want to be really personable. Uh, and again, hit some different YouTubes. I mean, there, there's a lot better specific advice and just just the interview but I just want to highlight um, in an art context it's really important uh, as a person who has been a creative director I know that the people I want to work with it's a high value that they mesh really well with my current team knowing that um, art professionals can be very esoteric uh, very introverted sometimes um, and sometimes difficult to communicate it's important that uh, you're able to show that you can work with a team. Just want to really drive that home because a lot of times for interviews artists will work to the very last hour um, on their portfolio and you need to do that. Um, you need to do that but move it a day ahead. I always create all my preparations a, at least a day in advance so uh, for a full 24 hours before the interview, if it's a very big interview, uh, my mind is just clear. So it's it really is like training for something like a like like a sports event or something like that. I I like to work all the way up to 24 hours before that period. Um, and don't forget the details. The details are very important. People don't talk about this enough, but um, I was taught when you get interviewed later, you you send a small follow-up gift uh, to the people that interview you just to say thank you. Now obviously this is not knowing whether you got the job or not but it's something that you should prepare. Um, another thing is know the company that you're interviewing for. Like, I, 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 I'm astounded when people don't do any research and show up to a job interview and don't know anything about the com company that might potentially hire them. You've got to find a way to answer uh, in your interview ways that show that you know a deeper knowledge of the company than the other person who's gonna sit there after you and the person that sat there before you and is going for the same job. A lot of people will leave the last question blank which is usually do you have any questions for us. The panel or the person that's interviewing you will say do you have any questions for us. Um, that is a really big opportunity uh, to either add something so there's a question where you can also add a statement um, and also it's an opportunity to ask a question like um, that's very specific like oh I know you guys have a non-profit non part of the business where you work with underprivileged youth uh, you know what type of events are you guys planning for next year that sort of thing um, that shows in that scenario shows that uh, you have an interest in maybe helping in that or uh, you know you have a heart for non-profit um, but what also shows me as the interviewer is that you did either research or you know um, or you just know about uh, a certain aspect of the company which isn't in the forefront of it. You do need to have a killer portfolio 
But what I'm saying for purposes of this video is, is it takes more than a por portfolio. Do your research on the company, practice answering the questions, and make sure you present yourself as a huge asset to their current team. Make sure you sell to them. You're the type of person that would add something uh, new to their, their current team. Hope that helps. If you have any questions or any comments, anything to add, please drop it down below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You want to hit me one on one, go on my Facebook page. It's forward slash designer John Phenom. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thanks for clicking on it. Peace.